My goodness, what an animal. See, I feel like there should be a bull in every other meadow. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. It just, I'm just shocked at like how little movement there is. Mm hmm. How, like, they just don't want to get up. Like that bull yesterday that we saw, saw him for like 10 seconds. But of all the things, man. He's been on this little bench for four days. He was there four days in a row. And no sooner do we show up, get eyes on him, he's in a great spot. <laughs> and a brownie just <laughs> pushes him off. Oh, oh. The, odds. the odds are not in our favor in that one. And he was killable. Mm -hmm. oh, That's what makes it even sting even more. Perfect little perch over here to shoot. Like, probably inside of 200. He's probably just sitting right on the other side. Yeah. And the hard thing about timber bull is didn't Brian say there was a bear near it? Yeah, we don't know if it boogied. Well, there was two different bears. There was a sow with two cubs close, and then another sow and a cub shot across this meadow. It's filthy with bears down there. So you're saying if we go down there, there's a lot of bears. <laughs> The worst kind to sows with cubs. Yeah. Yeah. It's basically Russian roulette if we hop off this mountain, Brady. Mm-hmm. But that bull that you spotted is impressive. So yeah, he's so wide. He is a tank of a bull. We have options. We just got to uh, figure out the best one and hopefully re relocate another bull. Yeah. Just man, the visibility down there. It's it's definitely pre-rut. They're not acting ruddy at all. No. It's early. Times hasn't even shed its velvet yet. So getting down there and calling, I don't know. My gut says it's probably not gonna work that great yet. Yeah. Alright. Brady and I loaded up our stuff, got all our gear packed up. We're headed down the face of this mountain here down to where we're going after the wide bull this is a bull that Brady put eyes on last night and we saw this morning it's the only bull we've seen today so um, he's in a thicket of trees right by this easy to, to uh, like this meadow that he was in last night so we're gonna get keep the wind right we're gonna get where we can get uh, across the other side of that meadow, maybe get some elevation, take that bull through the spruce. You want to yeah, charge we'll through go that? Yeah, the, the ridge, and then uh -huh. might have a nasty section right there. Get through the spruce, get out in the open. And then cut across. And cut across, yeah. It's going to suck, no, matter, suck what. no matter what. All right, let the fun games begin. Found a clear path. <laughs> it was worth it. <laughs> clear path right there. You're good. <laughs> I can't get it you have to get savage to find the opening. <laughs> <laughs> 
Right when I got just high enough, it broke. It was just high. Made it to the first opening. So now this first opening, just gotta navigate over to the pond. In the pond, we gotta shoot up and over a big hill of spruce and around the next pond, but we're cruising now. Just gotta avoid the G bears. There's G bears over there and G bears over there. We're just gonna start sneaking through the meadows and anytime you can see a moose, we're in the thick. Exactly what we wanted to see. There's a brown bear bedded out in the meadow. It looked like a bunch of bees or something were all agitated him because he kept shaking his head, but he swam through the pond. And luckily he went through that way, but it was like 200 yards away. Big old bear. He heard us. Yeah. Now we gotta find a way to get across this water and avoid the bear. Let's stick to the tree line. Yeah, we have a big beaver run right here. We can't jump across, but we might go across it. Over here, yeah, and stick to the tree line and make a wide path around that bear. <laughs> well, we have just crested it up this little knob. This our glassing point that we had been hoping to get to this whole time. So here we are. To the top, we just gotta find that bowl. Right, Brady? Should be real close. We got the master, master vantage point here. I'm so excited to just sit down, peek in the dimmer. Yeah, let's get a drink too, because I'm thirsty. I'm carrying a lot of water. I loaded up just a minute ago. Dude, this is epic. We could, we could shoot 360 from this. And yeah, we're looking at new country we haven't classed in before, too. We can check out a lot of new pockets. White bull is right in that meadow, right in front of us, not 300 yards from us right now. Let's go find him. This morning he was just standing there. Just standing the whole time, yeah. He was just kind of looking and listening. Yeah. It's a good job for a bull to do some listening. Yeah, I didn't see him doing much else. And then he seemed to just sort of just move into the trees. Yeah. I think they'll show. It's just a matter of where and when. He needs to come out of that timber. I mean, look how thick it is all the way back in that direction. Yeah, we can't see anything unless he comes comes mm -hmm. out. But if he comes this direction, if he steps into the meadow like he did last night, I don't know how patternable these I know. holes are, really. Part of me hopes he does the same thing twice. <laughs> I know. Just this one. Well, we're hoping it's early enough in the season that that's exactly what he does. Yeah. You know, big times, he's been held up for four days on that same spot. Exactly. 
I don't know, he came out and stood in the meadow for quite a while last night. Yeah, he was just really docile out in the meadow. So, hopefully he comes into the meadow again. Gets mm -hmm. a drink of water, and uh, he takes a Brady special. Yeah. One of these um, giant elephant bullets. Yes. I'm prepared <laughs> when you come to Alaska. That looks like a 50 caliber round. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. I like my I like my big cartridges. What are we dealing with right there? A 300 rum. <laughs> hmm. With 208 grains of fawn on the front. Shooting 3,100 feet per second. Probably 3,165 usually, average. Nice. Does it kick? Yeah. Depends <laughs> what you just that definition of kicking is. When, yeah. when, you're just, when it's 12 pounds. It, it doesn't kick as bad. Yeah. <laughs> Give it all it's worth. It's 14 pounds. Is that what it weighs? Yeah. <laughs> it's like 14 pounds, 4 ounces. Hey, but, hey man, if you can hit the, what is it, the zit off a wolf at a thousand yards. Yeah. It's not fun to carry, I'll tell you that, but when I need to, it shoots well.
broadside. He's broadside now.
and I looked over. I could see his paddles through the trees. He's on the camera now. Brady's getting set up. I swear he's looking right at us. It's a step I could shoot him. Just need him to step to the side. Give us a good clean shot. Come on. Do it. You want him? Yes. Okay. Send him. Okay. Oh, he's dead. He's still standing there. I think so. Yeah. He's still there. Just to the right. Just to touch. See his head? I can just see its face. I think you hit him in the in the lungs. He's on the ground. Dude.
that was a tight window. <clears throat> oh, dang, Brady. <laughs> Did that just happen? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> nice shot, dude. Nice shot. Well done, dude. Nice shooting. How'd that feel? That felt amazing. Oh my gosh. Like I said, he was just standing behind that tree forever looking towards us. And I kept hoping he would step out. He stepped out, touched off the perfect shot. I thought it hit right right behind the shoulder as well, right? In the heart, like yeah. in the lung. He looked perfect. I saw him fall over and I saw him thrash his thrashing right now, but the problem is there's a tree in the way so I can't get a second shot if I wanted to, but I think he's dead. I don't know. Let's give it some give some time. I'm shaking. <laughs> <sighs> oh, thank you. No food. No food. No electrolytes really. Mm -mm. I got one little uh little drink mix left. I have one nut butter. But guess what? We have a lot of moose meat we could eat. <laughs> when he started walking, I'm like, hey, what are you gonna shoot? <laughs> Because yeah. one step, he took that, took that step, yeah. And I have a, I have a little bit of left to right too, windage, which was going to help. But I did dial a little bit left, but the bullet's going to get pushed to the right as he's getting over there. Colin kept him, kept him right there. Colin, Colin might have brought him up, and then right when I was getting set up, he called, and then that might have gave him the time to like, oh, maybe there is some over here, and he took that extra step trees. instead of going back down to the left. Yep. Because if he just turned right we would have never had no shot there's no other openings he had to go into that window where his face was and finally his body went into it oh you nailed him great job thank you i can't can't wait to get over there and just see him there like right now i, I know i hit him but still just that jittery feeling of oh done please let him just be sitting right there can't believe it. Nice job, man. What an amazing place. For us, every calorie counts because we don't have any food. It's like I've never eaten before. Keep missing. Get in my mouth. No. You think he was that big? No. Dang. I can't even move him. Look at the bases. 
My goodness. What an animal. Oh, everything I could have dreamt of. Played out. Oh, just seeing them right there. Oh, I almost completely lost it. I almost completely lost it. I probably still will. Mm. Gosh, I love hunting so much. Put yourself in these amazing places like this with cool friends. Run into freaking grizzly bears all over the place. Camped on this bull last night, didn't see him. Found him this morning. Man, gosh, what a dream bull. Oh. I'm so glad we found him right, right where he thought he was. We came up just perfectly. And just be able to see his paddle. <laughs> oh gosh, that was everything I ever wanted. Thank you, Brian. Thank you, bull. When I saw this guy, what was it, two nights ago, <laughs> never really thought we'd be right here. My goodness. <laughs> wow. Amazing. Messaged my dad earlier. That was pretty cool. Wish parents were here to enjoy it, but at least you can sat message them when you have success. I literally can't move them. <laughs> Heck yeah. So happy for you, dude. Oh. That's a tank. That is a tank. Yeah. We have some work ahead of us. Just look at how big the paddles are. Yeah, he's got starting to get some color. You ready for your diesel legs? <laughs> Seriously, dude. Now the work begins, man. Look at this. We're gonna see what kind of men we really are. Yeah. Whew, he is wide bull. It's just work. It's, it's just, just work. work. Can I just wrap this up in a bottle and like open it up whenever I wanna have pure joy in life? Cause this would be it. I can't believe the size. <laughs> <laughs> I just, every time, man. Oh. My gosh, they're so cool. Can you, I can't even get my hands around the bases. Like, look at that. You have big hands, dude. There's nowhere I can get around. My goodness. Mm. Just this, this is what I saw this morning, this big time. And all he had to do was take one of his steps. My gosh, so cool. I almost wish we didn't have to cut him up so quick because I just want to sit here and literally stare at him. Dude, I can't believe this. You keep hearing I'm getting emotional. I'm not shooting my dad right now.
Hmm. Uh, parents back in Minnesota. My dad shot <clears throat> a bow in Alaska like six years ago. And now I did. <laughs> It's, it's crazy looking at his tines like that. When we came around this corner, folks, that's the view that we saw from right there. I was like, whoa. Just see those tines peeking up over the brush. <laughs> oh, dude, we have some butchering to do and a route to figure out and some packing. We have no food except this moose. Yeah. But it'll do. I do have uh, one, one stick of coffee left. Oh, yeah. You. I'm sure we could find some blueberries. Yeah, there's that. But yeah, we have no food besides for the moose. Blueberries and moose. Buddy. And love is defined by decisions. And you may burn bridges. You ain't got time to man. You're too old to be in this condition. You're too young for the Lord to take in. I don't know. I don't know. Words can describe a moment like this, a place like this. Dream, dream animal. I mean, when you can't even get your hands, like, I can't even get my hands close to be touching around the bases. Like, this is this is what you dream about. Do a cool, cool little backpack trip for moose. How many people backpack hunt moose? I mean, we're gonna find out why probably not many people do it, I'm sure. We're not concerned because there's nothing what an animal. to learn from resentment. And I count the days and watch as the haze fills his eyes. I won't complain, it's a privilege to live and die. And life is defined by decisions, and you may burn bridges. You ain't got time to man, you're too old to be in this condition. You're too young for the Lord to take in. You're too young for the Lord to take in. I got some moose fat and uh, cut up a lot of chunks of that. And then uh, we got a lot of moose heart. So with the moose fat, which is honestly tastes like beef fat. It is so good to eat. And I do not think it's because we are uh, out here in the mountains and nutritionally, in the deep, uh, no food. I think it would taste good at home. We are out of food. We are, but it still tastes phenomenal. We've got our moose in the meadow. We got a meadow up here and a meadow down there. We got half the moose in each meadow. Um, got them away from the carcass though. And now, we feasted last night on about five pounds of moose fat and, and, and heart and tenderloin. We're doing a little more of that and then we're gonna have to start shuttling, shuttling uh, more of this uh, meat down the mountain. Not sure about you, but this is probably gonna be my favorite piece. We got moose fat on the moose heart. Right you moose fat. Right in moose fat. So this is probably going to be really tasty. So between three of us, we'll make three runs. And we'll have her done. It seems relatively easy. It's very easy with elk and other yeah. hunts we've been on. I've done the math. I've done 125 pound loads with a complete deer and my camp and everything else and gone eight miles. But... The terrain is a whole nother ball game. The terrain is brutal. I 
I've found a new way to love It helps wearing gloves and a good pair of boots And I vow to never give up It ain't in my blood to remain out of use And there's a lifetime of work to do And we all depend on the mending of you Stay brave in your toil, you lucky old fool There's a lifetime of work to do How'd that feel? Didn't feel too bad. A little awkward going through some willows and alders, but Reinforcements are here. Oh yeah. Three bodies gonna make quick work of this meat. I'll get this done today. Keep me on the line and I'll be on time till my body's cold. And there's a lifetime of work to do. We all depend on the mending of you. Stay brave in your toil, you lucky old fool. There's a lifetime of work. How's it feel? Feeling good. Made it through the first big section of alders. Now he's got this half mile section of nasty timber to go through, but hopefully the timber means less alders, so. Right? Yeah. Good times. It's good times. How's the back view from back there? It's not bad. Not bad. I'm going to say, looks good. Keeps me thinking. Yeah, we need a couple more. Yeah. Did he bury it there? Dang it. Hey bear. Hey bear. Yo, bear. He's gonna be close. But that's bear. bear sitting on it right now yeah because this meat it's not supposed to be here like you grabbed it and ran yeah is there another way we can get out to this beach and look back you can go way down there probably yeah. wind's kind of drifting it'd be better to go this way wind to flow down to them we can go down to that tree line and walk through the tree line let's do that For the coming of day to behold And are you 
prepared for the evil that stares from the folds. Can you stay level, plane out the bevel, and finish it flush with your soul? How the world needs to know. And there's a lifetime of work to do And we all depend on the mending of you Stay brave in your toil, you lucky old fool There's a lifetime of work, there's a lifetime of work There's a lifetime of work to do I hope you guys enjoyed that film. Don't go anywhere just yet because we are going to give away a Leupold rangefinder and a pair of trekking poles. Yep. But before we do that, I just wanted to express my gratitude to all of you guys out there who follow our channel, who leave comments on our videos, who hit the like button, who share it. Without you, we wouldn't be able to do what we do. And it's not lost on us that we have a pretty blessed uh, career job. Yeah, I wouldn't be sitting here. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I also wanted to say, you know, sometimes I get criticized because because I put advertisements in, in these movies and at the end I'll do these giveaways and some promotional stuff. And to be honest, our real goal is to make content that's meaningful and has impact. Yep. And that other part's just how we try to make a living so that we can keep doing that. And I hope it comes through in the films and the content that we produce. We're not chopping this up into like a whole bunch of 20 minute episodes and just right. cranking it out and trying to get these views. And, you know, I really want you to sit down and consume it for an hour. And I, I want it to be more meaningful and impactful in that way. And so that's why I'm trying to produce these the way that I am. Well, I think the other thing too is a giveaway is a way for us to kind of give back to you in a sense as well. Yeah, I try to get where there's a discount code for everybody. Yep. So if you use the code Gritty, you get like 10% off or something or more. But also, you could win something cool. Right. Uh, or even just get a shirt like this new It's Just Work shirt. Exactly. Um, some men can, some men can't. Some men can't. But I just want to say thank you. We truly appreciate the audience that we have. We couldn't do this without you. Check out the Gritty shop. We have a couple giveaways going on right now. If you buy the shirt, it's in the Gritty store. Not only will you be supporting us and the work we're doing, you'll be entered to win a killer prize package as well. Every 10 bucks you spend at the Gritty store between now and May 5th is an entry to win the prize package. And there's not just the new It's Just Work t-shirt available. We have the Some Men Can and Some Men Can't Barbell t-shirt edition. And we have uh, a new block text, Some Men Can and Some Men Can't t-shirt as well. So go check it out. It's at thegrittystore.com. Every $10 you spend over there is an entry to win, and we'll announce that winner after May 5th. If you want a chance to win another awesome gear package, and you're shopping for gear anyway, now's your chance, because if you shop at Go Hunt between now and May 5th, this Go Hunt spring prize package can be yours. You can win a brand new compound bow from Hoyt. Every $10 you spend between now and May 5th at the Go Hunt Gear Shop is an entry to win. Now, if you really want the best chance to win the Go Hunt Spring Gear Package, you want to get the Go Hunt Insider Membership, which gives you 150 entries to the Go Hunt Spring Prize Package. The Insider Membership gives you access to some exceptional hunting research tools. You get access to all the Go Hunt digital maps and in app research tools. I mean, honestly, it's hard not to win right now because if you shop at Go Hunt, you're going to get a discount when you use the code GRITTY and you're entered to win a big prize package. And if you like our t shirts anyway and you buy one between now and May 5th, you're going to be entered to win a cool package, two chances to win a brand new compound bow and other gear. Brad, we're going to pick a winner. For we've got the a Leupold range finder, correct? We got something like uh, we're pushing a thousand comments. On There's this, a lot, <laughs> so on this video. So <laughs> we've tried to go through all of them. Um, we do try to respond to every comment. Yes. But Brad, who, who do we have? Who we won the Leupold range finder? Have Bam, Luke Adams, ninety one twenty eight. Brian, you have the best taste in hunting films. These are fantastic. I appreciate how you bring the viewer into the setting by showing the entire view, not hypo hyper-focused on an individual. It gives perspective and is something just about every film out there does not do. 
This film specifically brings back nostalgia to the days of 2019 bear films with you and Ryan. Awesome film, phenomenal production. Can't wait until part two. All right. That's Thank cool. you, Luke Adams. There's so many comments like that. I just there want to are say a ton. <laughs> I appreciate that you guys see that. So uh, congratulations. You just won a uh, Leopold Rangefinder. If you leave a comment on this video right now, this week, part two, we're going to pick another winner and give away another rangefinder. Yep. We'll announce May that May, the week of May 6th. Yep. yep. So uh, if you shared uh, our video on Instagram, you were entered to win a pair of Peaks Trek and Poles. Correct. Eight poles. Well, who do we got? We got Logan.Fish. Right on. If you like banter between dudes, you will love this film. He shared it on his Instagram, tagged all of us. So congratulations, Logan. If you want to win a dark energy battery pack, just share this video, part two, on your social platforms and tag us. And we're going to pick another winner the week of May 6th. By the way, we're looking at doing a film school. Yes. I think in July, a gritty mm-hmm. film school. If you're interested in that, leave a comment down below. We're trying to get a feel for how many people might want to come for like a three or four day film school that put on by yours truly. Yep. And kind of share what I've learned over the years. With a group of people, maybe 30 people or so, something like that. And uh, if you're interested, leave us a comment. Also, we have a new YouTube channel. It's called Gritty Films. It's our Gritty Films channel. All that's going on over there is exclusively film content. And we're uploading shows every couple of days over there. And many of them were exclusive films that were not available to the public until now. So if you head on over there, you're going to find stuff you haven't seen before. Or you'll find stuff that's real old if you're if you're an OG follower right. of the channel, and uh, you'll find some old stuff and that you'll want to rewatch probably. So check it out; it's Gritty Films, Gritty Film Productions. If you can't find it in the search bar by Gritty Films, then make sure you put at Gritty Film Productions. Yeah, the and then uh, subscribe, leave us a comment on a video. We appreciate that. Thank you so much for supporting our show. We couldn't do this without you. For gritty discounts, events, and merch check out our website at briancall.com.